The Dragon King's Cragblade is the most underrated remembrance weapon in Elden Ring. The uncommon weapon type it belongs to and the impressive Ash of War place this weapon among the most powerful in game, along with having aesthetically pleasing red lightning. When we trade in the remembrance of the Dragon Lord, we get what appears to be his severed tail. This yields us a weapon that is in the rather uncommon heavy thrusting sword class. Weapons in this class trade off the super high rate of attack of the normal thrusting swords for much greater reach and and better poise damage. The long reach of the poking R1s and the hard hitting charged R2s all have great utility throughout the game. And every time you land a hit on the enemy, the area you hit glows with that red ancient dragon lightning, which may be the coolest hit effect in the game. This red lightning also deals additional damage to dragons, 15% to ancient dragons and 30% to modern dragons. Speaking of the lightning, this weapon has split damage between lightning and physical. While split damage often means a stat hungry weapon, requiring different investments for different types of damage, lightning is the elemental exception. Like all other lightning weapons, both physical and lightning damage scales off your dexterity. So in this build, we can really focus on pumping dex. Not like we have much of a choice in the matter since the weapon itself requires 37 dexterity if you want to wield it in the first place. Now, if Ashes of War were graded on their names, Thundercloud form would bag an easy A+. Holding down L2 literally turns you into the storm that is approaching dealing lightning damage and staggering some enemies along the way. The end of the ash sees you strike down into the ground with a powerful strike that deals a wonderful amount of damage. As much as I love this whole animation, this wasn't the optimal use of the move. You can just tap the L2 button for a slightly reduced damage version of the move. This comes out much faster than the fully charged L2 while still retaining its knockdown power. And on the enemies that are knocked down by Thundercloud form, we can confidently combo with a fully charged R2 for even more damage. With this playstyle, there are many tiers that you can use in your physique. The Lightning Shroud and Cracked tier for additional lightning damage and the Stone Barbed Cracked tier for more poise damage are great choices that I used in my build. For Talismans, I ran with the Dragon Crest Great Shield for more defense, Millicent's Prosthesis for more dex and successive attack damage, Lightning Scorpion Charm for more lightning damage, and the Shard of Alexander for the beautiful Thundercloud form. Our stats were 60 Vigor, 20 27 Mind, 30 Endurance, 12 Strength to 2 Hand for the Crag Blade, and 75 Dex, since this will be bumped up to 80, and this is where our AR comes from. If you like these build videos, be sure to let me know by hitting subscribe, liking the video, and joining our Discord server. Link down below. The Dragon King's Crag Blade is a weapon that deserves your attention. If not for the Reach, Poise Damage, or the Crazy Good Ash of War, use it for that on-hit Red Lightning effect.